Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we are continuing our route through the Washita National Forest. We have left the big dispersed campsite from the previous video, and we are headed back east to a fork in the road where we will make a right headed south again. The short trip south will hit another fork where we will make a left and turn back east headed toward Highway 71. There are several awesome dispersed campsites on this section of route and we have combined all the footage that we've had left and this video will take us all the way to Highway 71 where we will end the videos on this route and this will complete the whole route going through the four sections of the Washita National Forest. This was an awesome journey. We love this adventure and we look forward to coming back, exploring it in more depth, camping the dispersed campsites that's along the route, and sharing more of this route with you. Don't forget that this complete route is on the Onyx Off-Road app. Pictures, details, and each section has a trail rating. Most of this route can be done in two-wheel drive. There are some sections that I would want all-wheel drive at least with a little bit of ground clearance. Some sections can be pretty rough. Good tires are a must. Airing down will help smooth the ride out. I hope you have a chance to get out and explore this route and share your journey with others. We look forward to hearing from you. Be sure to comment in the comments. And don't forget we have videos for all the sections on this YouTube channel that goes along with the route sections or the trail sections that's on the Onyx Off-Road app. This route can be a several day or even week-long journey, depending on how many nights you want to camp. There are plenty of dispersed campsites along the way. Pretty much any area you're in on this route, after you get tired of driving, you won't have far to go to find a dispersed campsite. Streams, creeks, shallow water crossings are possible in different areas of this route. Some areas could be flooded depending on how much rain we receive. We saw a lot of wildlife and beautiful views and really look forward to coming back and making this route again. But like I said, this next time we plan on doing it slower spending time at the dispersed campsites and going deeper in detail on what's in each area. Look forward to hearing from you. Hope you can get out and enjoy this route too. Don't forget if you do download the Onyx Off-Road app when you're in these areas you may not have cell signal so be sure to download your map sections on the app for offline use. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down depending on what you like or don't like. And share our channel with your friends. Now let's get outside and explore. Thank you.
right, guys, we're on section or trail nine, I believe. I'll straighten all of this out when I upload everything. Found another great campsite, dispersed, of course. Nice firing, plenty of room, really pretty. Now, there are a few more of these that we passed that have a bunch of campers in them. I guess they're deer hunters. So I guess during deer season they come set up. But this one uh, was empty. No one here, so I guess it's free for the grabbing. But anyway, we're going to continue on. We're going back east, heading through the Washita National Forest back to Highway 71.
into this section on asphalt right here. Okay, we are picking up the next trail right here after a short piece of asphalt. And I'm not going to record all this one with the action camera. We're just going to take some pictures here and there for it. And it looks like it's going to be basically the same type of roads we've been on. In this on Highway 71. It was a great loop. Mm -hmm. 